Hi friends, it's Joni, Granny J. Clay. Um, I mentioned on the video just prior to this one that I was going to do another um, thing that I had never tried before. So I'm just going to do this. I got out my, um, again, I had some Primo Clay, uh, the pearl, and I ran it through my embossing folder that has these leaves on it. And so I got the front and back. But um, what I'm going to do is I've got this jelly uh, print plate. This is what it looks like in the package. How much was it? When I bought it, it was $25. It probably was on sale. It's five by five. I try to buy things on sale, so that might not be the right price. Anyway, as you can see, I have used it, so it's kind of gotten colored. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put some... This I haven't done this before either. I haven't put... Um, Oh, what are they? In my inks, my alcohol inks on on it. But what I want to do is I'm going to put some alcohol inks on it, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to turn it over. I'm just going to lay it on there, and then I'm going to take it off and see what happens. I'm into fall, so. And I don't have red, but I have it. what, what they call watermelon. I'm going to try a little bit of that anyway. Um, let's see if I can get all these open up. Okay, there we go. In fact, I'm going to open all of them before I get started here. So, um, I will let you see what I do with that. Um, this. I'm letting this sit. I'm, I'm letting this sit just to see if I want to add anything more to it. This is from my video right prior to this one. So, I've got it still on my board here. I'm going to put it out of the way. Um... But I wanted to just try this right away so I can see what happens. You don't have a whole lot of control, I don't think, when you do this, but we'll see. I'm just playing today. It's fun. What is this color? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Terracotta. All right, maybe that'll, I don't know. Well, that's kind of a reddish too, which maybe I'll try that one first. And then I have this brown. This is called teakwood. So this is teakwood. Let me tell you what all these are. Teakwood, um, sunset orange, citrus. Oh boy, I can't see anything on here. This hopefully will be kind of an orange or a yellow. And then this one is the watermelon. So let's see. Let's go. Let's try it. Like I said, it's just an experiment. So I'm going to put some here. And I'm going to put some green here. I'm going to put some brown here. Orange. Kind of all around here. Okay. Or not orange, but... What is it? It is orange. Sunset orange, yes. And then the yellow, I'm going to do the same. Kind of bring it around. Huh. I just wanted to dribble, not so much do that. Okay. Did I do the watermelon? May not have. I don't remember. <laughs> Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is spray it with some alcohol. And you know what? I better move this out of the way in case it splatters. So I put it over here and we'll see what happens. I just got this little bottle of um, alcohol. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I move my piece of clay out of the way. There we go. I'm just going to let it run a little bit. <laughs> Can you see it running a little bit here and there? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I dipped right into it. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to dab this in here and see how dark. Ooh, that's really dark. I'm going to dab some of that off. Okay. Let's see what this is, too. 
And then this might be, that's kind of dark too. And that one, okay. And I'm gonna get some more green. Okay, one more orange right here, 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 here. And there's, this doesn't make sense. I'm just doing it. I don't have any plan. It's just gonna be what it is. Okay. All right. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. There, there we go. up to make it run back that way. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to lay it down. It's not going to get the whole thing, but it's going to get a good share of it. I'm going to make it go this way. Okay. I'm getting some on the back. And that's okay. That doesn't matter. Because I got some on my gloves. See? Okay. I'm just going to let it lay there for a minute. Or so. <laughs> this may be a complete fail. <laughs> so hang in there. Let's see what happens. I haven't used this jelly plate for years. Um, I can't even remember what I used it for. I know I used it when I first got it quite a bit, but I'm just gonna see. Okay, so I see stuff come out the sides here. I'm trying to get the inks to spread by tapping it a little bit. Obviously, they're doing that because I'm getting some on my gloves. Okay. Leave some of this on the back. Be kind of pretty. Okay. Okay, my husband was out walking the dogs, but he's back now. So we we kind of eat at uh, an odd time. We only generally eat twice a day now, and it's not because we try to skip. It's just we're not that hungry. Um, I think when you're at our age, you're just not as hungry as you used to be. You're not as active as you used to be, so I probably should be more active, but I'm not. All right, this will be interesting. Let's just take it off and see what happens. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, oh. Look at that color. Oh, can you see that? Oh my goodness sake. Oh. In fact, I'm gonna take this and lay it back so the back gets some of that color. Oh my goodness, that's really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I love that deeper red. And as it dries, you can see it's getting lighter. Oh my goodness, I love it. Huh. Go figure. See, it's just fun to experiments, isn't do experiments, isn't it? Okay, get that off too. There we go. We have a friend that lives in our, well, we, we live at kind of the end of a cul-de-sac. Look at this. <laughs> My gloves are looking very fallish. And um, I think I'm going to put this back on. I don't know which one went with which, but that's okay. We live at the end of a cul-de-sac, and all of our homes are twin homes. 
uh, so you know you share a wall with someone else that has a home like yours. Anyway, uh, we really have enjoyed living here. And like I said, we live at the end of a cul-de-sac. So um, even though our house faces another street, they have included us in, in the cul-de-sac. And uh, one of the gentlemen, <clears throat> he and my husband have become good friends. And he has some back surgery and he just got home today. I think he's a couple, either a year or two years older than me. I'm 73, so I'm uh, not sure. Isn't that pretty? You could just frame that. You know, you could let it dry and frame it. Isn't that pretty? Can't really pick that up very easily, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And I could use my heat gun, but then that makes the clay a little bit hard, too. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my goodness, I like that. Now, I could spray some alcohol on there, but there's still quite a bit on there. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of letting it dry off. As it dries, you can see it's getting lighter in spots, and you can see other colors. Ah, that's pretty. Well, I hope you like it as much as I do here. Let me bring it down a little bit. I can't move it. Well, here, I can move it over this way, get it more in the center. There we go. And maybe up, up that way a little bit, if I can. Uh, I can't. I think you can see it pretty good that way. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it is really worth it to just experiment once in a while. Just take a day or two and experiment. It's kind of fun that I still had the gel. Sorry, I had to wipe my nose. I still had the gel, this jelly. Um, what about sand or Student says gel printing plate. Hobby Lobby, five by five for printing and stamping. And I got one of the rollers too is, that it shows back here. I do have a roller that you can roll it out with if you want to do that. But it gives you all kinds of ideas to print on paper. But I thought, hmm, I'm going to do it. Oops, I just got something on that, didn't I? There we go. Didn't want that on there. Must have fallen off the paper. Yeah. Okay, I forgot that I unplugged my phone. Hang on, I'm gonna plug you in again. So I don't run out of juice while I'm doing this. There we go. Probably see it hanging down here, sorry. Anyway, I am going to let that dry really, really well, and then I will lift it up and let the other side dry really well. But I want this dry before I flip it over on its, on its top. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Well, that is really pretty. That's going to make some pretty jewelry. Lovely. Lovely. And again, what I used was Sunset Orange, I think I said that, Teakwood, Teakwood Tech, T-E-C-K, Teakwood Tech, Watermelon, and this, I, I cannot see it off of here. It says something, but I can't see it, but I think that was yellow or gold. And then this one was, what was this one? Terracotta, it says it right there. Okay, and this one was citrus. Okay, and it's a lighter green. So I've got other greens that are darker, but I wanted something lighter. Look at that, see how it's drying? And what I could do is come in and blot that if I wanted to. No, let's just see what it does when it dries. Might leave those dots, and that's okay. Not so bad. I'm going to blow it a little bit. Aren't you glad that you tuned in to watch me blow on my clay? <laughs> oh, well. I told you it was an experiment. 
Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to show you this time through. This won't be as nearly as long as my other video. But I will show you what I do with both of those sheets. Um, once this is completely dry and the other side is completely dry. Oh, I have to show you. Let me just take these off so I can show you something. Um, I made several of these. I had a whole sheet of this and oh, it, it was such a pretty print. And so I decided that instead of, um, instead of putting um, resin and glitter on the back, I was gonna try to make it look like it was double-sided. Look how pretty that turned out, you guys. So I made the sheet, cut it in half, and then put back to back. And then I put the frame on, the hollow frames on. I love this. I love that it turned out like that. Now I have to sand a little tiny bit around the edges and make sure it's clean where, where the hole is up there. But I am, I'm just so, so absolutely delighted with that. I'm going to do more of that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Um, you don't need to sit here and watch this dry with me. And um, I will, I'll probably talk to you later today and through a video and let you see what I did. Okay. Have a great one. See you later. Bye-bye.